Welcome back, everyone. I'm out here at COSI, actually inside their new Pterosaurus exhibit. And Joe, this has been open for a while now. We've yep. been talking about this for months, so yeah. it's so exciting it's finally here. I'm excited to have you in here to, to see it in person. Yeah, we're inside Pterosaurus Flight in the Age of Dinosaurs, our special exhibition from our partners, the American Museum of Natural History. And we're standing under Quetzalcoatlus northropi, one of, if not the largest animal to ever fly. This thing is the size of an airplane, and when it was on the ground, it would have stood as tall as a giraffe. So imagine a giraffe, and then imagine that that giraffe jumps off the ground and takes off and flies away. And it's crazy <laughs> to even imagine something that big. Yeah. They were, they were far larger than uh, anything alive today that can fly. I mean, the largest bird is um, maybe about this uh, big wingspan, so very large. But they were also uh, tiny ones too, so they had this huge size range. They ate all kinds of different things, um, different lifestyles than birds and bats today. They're just really unique organisms, and they lived at the same time as the extinct dinosaurs. And I like that we pointed out too, they're not dinosaurs, but they're they not. lived at the same time. Yeah, they were around at the same time. Unfortunately, they don't have any living descendants. So unlike dinosaurs where we can go and study living birds, there's nothing alive today that we can go and study that's a descendant of these. So also their fossils are super rare, so they're even more of a challenge to study for paleontologists. So to have an entire exhibition devoted to these things is really special. And of course, because it's COSI, there's things that are interactive, so you can not only look, but yes. you can play with some stuff back there. Yeah, so you can jump into these uh, simulators and become a pterosaur. Ooh, that's so fun. Over here, try to catch a bug as a Yeehalopterus, and then uh, over here, you can become the mighty Pteranodon flying over the ancient seaway of what uh, is modern day Kansas and try to catch a fish. <laughs> I love that. So, if we keep going over this way, there's a lot of, you know, it's a, different from a normal natural history museum where it's a lot of stuff that you can't touch, you know, behind glass. Yes. Here, you know, it's COSI, so it's hands on. If you push that button right there, Oh, yeah. Then you can get a good look at the differences between the wings of a pterosaur, a bird, and a bat. Um, three different ways to create a wing, completely different structure. So the pterosaur wing is mostly this super long fourth finger. Ooh. I like that there's a comparison to something that's living where we've yeah. seen a bird, we've seen a bat before, and how it's similar, but also definitely its own thing. Similar and yet different, exactly, yeah. And then if you keep going, um, you kind of end the exhibition with this amazing diorama. So you can sort of imagine what it would be like to time travel back to the Cretaceous period of what's uh, modern day uh, Brazil. And uh, these are the kinds of things that we see overhead. These are um, uh, Thalassodromius, uh, which is the largest head crest of any of these uh, pterosaurs. And then if you look in the background, you start to notice a lot of things like there's some dinosaurs back there, um, some other pterosaurs flying. And uh, just like I said, just imagine that you've uh, traveled back in time to witness these amazing creatures living. And it looks amazing that you even have an example of here's what these guys would be eating because it looks like there's even a few fish down there. One of them might be having a snack. Yeah, they had a lot of different, um, different what we call feeding ecologies. Some were fish eaters, some ate seeds, um, some even ate uh, uh, land animals like maybe even small dinosaurs, the Quetzalcoatlus that we walked past. It's probably a big predator. Ooh, yeah. and that's so interesting to figure out. It was more than just dinosaurs that were living around that yep. time. Yeah. Yeah, and this is kind of the complement to our dinosaur gallery. So if you go next door, then there's another diorama which actually has some pterosaurs in it. So as a challenge, you can go to the, ter uh, to the diorama in our dinosaur gallery and see how many pterosaurs you can find. I like that, and especially between the cold months, the holiday season coming up, what yes. are your guys' hours like? Yeah, it's cold outside, so come on in to COSI. It's warm, <laughs> we've got fun stuff to look at. Um, if you go to our website, we've got special holiday hours, um, and you'll always know when you can come and uh, bring the family. Oh, and special exhibits like this, is it included in coming out to your visit? Do you yes. need to buy an extra ticket? Uh, you can get your ticket online, and it includes pterosaurs, age of dinosaurs, as well as our other special ex exhibition that's going on right now, Doc McStuffins. Excellent. And again, if you want to check on those hours, figure out how long these exhibits are hanging around, you can go over to COSI.org or to watch the tour of this new exhibit again. You can log on to our website, NBC4i.com. So thanks, Joe. Thanks for having me.